everyone, welcome back. This is your girl, Annette Zane, and today I'm finally going to share with you my experience at the Disney Expo 23 event. Sorry that it took so long since this event was in last September, but I tried so hard to make this video fun for you guys to watch. Since this was a three-day event, I only went for two days, but I had a ton of footage and I had to cut it down so much to make sure this video wasn't super long for you guys and wanted to make it more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Throughout this video, I'll be joining with you and telling you all the great things that I saw in this event, and boy, it was incredible. So let's begin. This event took place at the Anaheim Convention Center, which was huge! So many people of all ages dressed up as Disney characters. Going through security was actually quick and painless. Like, I was really surprised that we went through the security so quick. It was really, really nice. When we were about to walk in, it felt so magical. It felt like I was walking to Disneyland. So excited to see everything. There were so many things to check out. Every direction led to something new, and I didn't want to miss any of it. There were shops, collectible items, art, clothing, jewelry, pins, mini backpacks, and even perfume. Like Disney had its own perfume. Like what? This event was also celebrating the 100 years of Disney. If some of you don't know, Walt Disney Animation Studios was built on October 16, 1923. And I know, you probably wonder why this event was in 2022 instead of 2023. Well, because this event happens every two years, and when the pandemic hit, they had to cancel the event that was going to happen in 2021. 
but they decided to push it to 2022, which successfully they were able to do the event. But anyway, back to where we were. Speaking of Walt Disney, there was a showcase of Walt Disney's life, his career as an animator, and his childhood in Marceline, Missouri. He had a love for trains, drawings, animals, and of course, cartoons. I even got to sign a bench that would be sent to the Walt Disney Hometown Museum in Marceline, Missouri. Have to go there someday to check it out. I first visited the Disney and Pixar area. The 100 years of the making of all of his Disney films from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which was his first film in 1937, to present. Showed the drawings of classic characters, the making of the classics. They even revealed some of the upcoming Disney films that are going to be coming in the next two years, such as Wish, Elemental, Iwaju, Live Action, The Little Mermaid, Strange World. I know, I know that movie was already released, but come on, back to where we were. I also took a lot of pictures next to Disney characters. Of course, you know, that, that one's my favorite character. The next thing I did was walking through the showcase called Step in Time, which was showing the classic icons that represent Disney, like Steamboat Willie, Mary Poppins, Snow White, Disneyland, and Disney Channel. Look at me, standing right next to the Mickey Mouse ears. If you don't know, those are the members of the Mickey Mouse Club. Then I made my way to Wonderful World of Dreams that showed us the future of Disney parks from all over the world, from Paris, Tokyo, Hong Kong, and Shanghai, showing us the new rides, new attractions, and new lands. God, I wish this was here. Okay, I definitely want to go on that ride. And now, I made my way to Marvel.
showed us the costumes of all the superheroes from Doctor Strange, Wanda, Ant-Man, Ms. Marvel, Moon Knight, Thor, seriously, the GOAT, had a whole display of Marvel figures created by Iron Studios. also made my way to Star Wars. I'm not a big fan, sorry everybody, but I decided to take a look at it anyway. And of course, Iron Studios also had a display of Star Wars figures. They even had little bits of display for costumes from other movies such as Indiana Jones and Willow. I walked to the journey into storytelling, which was giving a tour of all the shows from these programs such as ABC, Hulu, Freeform, FX, National Geographic, Disney, and Onyx Collective. There were so many celebrities in this event and you know most of them were at showcases talking about their movies or their work for future of Disney films like I know there was like the cast for Avatar The Way of Water, Wakanda Forever, The Little Mermaid and also upcoming Disney films so unfortunately I couldn't go to those shows. But there were two famous people that I was able to see in person, get an autograph and a picture with them. But I will say you know these two people I've never heard of but I'm pretty sure you have. The first person I met was Todd McFarlane, who is a comic book creator of Spawn and The Amazing Spider-Man, but he is also the founder of McFarlane Toys, which he was actually there to show his display of action figures of Avatar and the newest one, Avatar The Way of Water. When so many people were in line for his autograph, I was thinking, okay, he's really big for, you know, for Disney and all of, you know, for Avatar and for, I heard about Spider-Man and all that, so I decided to meet him and have an autograph from him too. I was able to record getting an autograph and a picture from him, and the best part about it was that he said hello to the camera. Hello. hello. What is that? You got a GoPro? Yeah, it's a DJI Pocket 2. It's just like a vlog thing. Like, am I on, the, am I on that right now? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I feel popular. I feel popular. I'm on the TV. Hi, Mom. Number one. How's your, how's your day going? Pretty good so far. It's my first time, so. Oh really? Yeah. Nice, mine too. Nice. Yours too. You oh, only you got one day pass? No, I. Well, for now, but I'm going on Sunday, so oh, okay. I'm here actually for two days. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> then I met Jackie Cox who competed in the 12th season of RuPaul's Drag Race, which I actually heard of that show. She placed in fourth place for that show and later became a big icon for the LBGTQ community. Since I support the LBGTQ community, I decided that I wanted to meet her. She was an absolute sweetheart, you know, she was funny, she was, you know, so kind, and she was so cute with like her Mickey ears. 
Hello. Hello there. Wait, what's your name? My name's Natalie. Natalie, N-A-T-A-L-I-E. Yes. Slayed it. Where are you from, Natalie? I'm from Sammamish, which is a little bit away from Seattle. Oh, Washington. amazing. Are you dressed as um, a, a, the, the box from Zootopia? Yep. His name is? Nick Wilde. Nope, that was not in my brain. <laughs> Definitely, uh, the girl, the body's Judy, right? Yes. Yeah, remember, remember we remember her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, at least I knew the character yeah. and the movie. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> Are you ready, Natalie? Let's take an adorable, adorable photo. Yes. Sure. You see that? She even grabbed my tie. <laughs> I had such a blast experiencing this incredible event and seeing so many things that Disney has created throughout the years. I bought so many things like Thomas Kincaid arts, pins, mini posters, postcards, socks, a flag, a Pixar ball, posters of upcoming games for Disney and Marvel, and a poster of the event. I learned so much about the history of Walt Disney and how much his films really affected on people. How much I admire Walt Disney and his films and how much he means to me in my life. Even discovering new things for Disney in the future, which I'm not allowed to tell you, it's top secret. It's been such a pleasure sharing with you my experience at the Disney Expo 23 event. Hopefully I can go to the next one. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun watching it. So you know the routine, like my video, subscribe my channel, leave comments below of what you thought about it, and you catch on to the next reaction video, and I'll see you later, guys.